Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. So today what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be just walking you through a couple of things. Um, if you're looking for a bag or if you get a bag and you're a little bit concerned about if the bag's authentic or not, or if you're trying to buy a bag online and you want to know some of the basic common things that you should be looking for, you know, I thought I would take a crack at it. You know, I've been doing a lot of reading and research on how to detect if your bag is authentic or not. So I'm hoping that with some of the information that I have found online. I mean, I did look at and use a bunch of different websites, but I think I have a good idea uh, on, a, on the ways to be able to detect. Of course, you know, there are other things you can do. You can use other companies as well to authenticate your bags, but I'll talk to you about that more later towards the end of this video. But right now what I want to do is I just want to start, I just want to go right into it and start showing you some of the things so that you can start thinking about it and how it works. So, one thing that we always look at, of course, is the logo, right? Uh, I'll show you this bag here. This is the Pichette Matisse. So, of course, you know, you want to look at the pattern. When you look at the pattern diagonally is where you're going to see some of this, right? So I'm going to show you. I have this one here, but I also have this Manhattan bag. And this one, you can actually see the uh, the main thing. So if you're looking at a monogram bag and you want to know, well, I wonder if that pattern's off or anything like that. So I'm just going to try to keep this here so that you can see it. So one of the things that you're going to want to look at is you're going to want to look at the, the pattern diagonally. Right? So what you're going to want to see is you're going to want to see the pattern. You're going to make sure that the pattern matches up. So you're going to want to see the flower here, which is called the Fleur de Lis. Then you're going to want to see the circle. You should see another Fleur de Lis and then the Alvi logo. So that is diagonally what you should see. Fleur de Lis, circle, Fleur de Lis, and Alvi logo. So that's one way. Of course, if you find a bag, a monogram bag, and you do not see that, you may want to question though. Actually, you should question that because I don't think I've ever seen a bag that doesn't have that pattern. I'm going to check this one as well. I know when it comes to the uh, monogram print, the imprint it, that's a little bit different. So, you know, even here, you're going to see a pattern as well. You're going to see that it also has the pattern. It has the, uh, here, uh, you're going to see it here. Floor de Lee, the circle, Floor de Lee, and then the LV. So if I'm going to, if you get really close, you can probably see it. So again, Fleur de Lis, circle, Fleur de Lis, and then the LV. Sorry, I'm trying to do this the other way. But you can see it here. The, the Fleur de Lis, Fleur de Lis, circle, Fleur de Lis, LV. So you should have that kind of pattern. So just as a heads up, I mean, the monogram pattern is pretty classic. So that is usually one of the things that you'll see. Aside from that, um, you're going to want, especially if you get a bag that has like the vachetta, the untreated vachetta. I know now you're getting a lot of the untreated leather, so it's going to be kind of hard to tell. But like I'll show you my, this really old bag. I've had this bag. I mean, this bag I've had for a while now, but it's a really old bag. It's like over 30 years old, but it's the keep all. But you can see when it comes to the, to the vachetta, usually it's going to start to darken. You can see the sides here. It's a little bit darker you're going to start seeing darkening. So that's another classic sign too. If you get a bag that you know is authentic, it should probably have some darkening of the vachetta. And if it doesn't, you should probably question that. But again, it doesn't mean that it it's fake if it's not. It could Somebody could have just preserved it really well and it's just not darkening because it's not getting exposed to light and things like that. So just as another, another thing to think about, uh, hardware is a big thing when you look at hardware. Louis Vuitton has some of the most beautiful hardware. And the hardware, when you look at hardware with Louis Vuitton, you should see the hardware should be very clean and solid. You know, if, you, if, if I, I'm going to get as close as I can, but you can see how clean this is. It's very clean. It's very solid. It's not hollow. You know, I, I'm just, I just want to show you a little bit of the detail, but I mean, the buttons, of course, are going to have the Louis Vuitton. So you should see the, the buttons with the Louis Vuitton as well. So let me try to get a better view. But I mean, if you look at, I know with the lighting, it's kind of hard, but if you're looking at buttons, you're going to see buttons here with the Louis Vuitton. I mean, they should have the Louis Vuitton around it. So just as a heads up, I mean, those are things to look at when it comes to hardware. The hardware sh should be heavy, should be pretty crisp, and it should be pretty easy to read. Of course, if you can't read it, then you should probably question that. I will say I did jot down some notes that um, 
you know, the zippers, you can see the zippers, even the zipper is very smooth. Of course, if you get a bag that's pre-loved and it's older, you may not have a smooth zipper, so you can't really go off of that. But you should have a really clean zipper as well. So, you know, a heads up on that. Um, one thing that's really interesting is, and it's really like with bags like this, you know, if you have a bag that has the, you know, the S lock, you're gonna, only one of these is gonna move, right? So that's another classic thing too. If you're buying a Pochette Matisse and all of a sudden, the the uh the the bolt on the left is moving it may not be real because it's so only the right one supposed to move uh, i'm gonna go ahead and and, and, and lock it again because i want to show you that again so i'm gonna get close but you can see there's two here if i try to press this one i'm gonna get my finger off if i try to press that it does not do anything the only one that really moves is the other one which is the right one See, that opened it. And that's really how it should be. That one's the only one that you should use to unlock. So that's another little, just a little tip of, you know, things that I have been able to figure out is that's one thing that you want to look at. But I'm going to give you another, just a close up so you can see the hardware. But you can see how, I mean, you're going to see scratches and, and everything. But again, it should be really clean. Everything should be very crisp. You know, here's the back of this. You can see even like, you know, my, the hardware here is really clean. So heads up on that. Another thing is you're also going to want to look at the heat stamp. So inside the bag, you're going to see the stamp there, the heat stamp. It'll say Louis Vuitton and it always gives you the, the country where it was made. It may see like this one here says Louis Vuitton Paris. It could say Louis Vuitton Spain. It could, you know, it gives you the country where it's made. So that's another thing. And, you know, you can look at the lettering. It's, again, it's always really clean. The lettering usually looks really, really nice. One thing to look at is one way to know if it's real is the L is usually a lot smaller. I'm trying to keep it here for you guys to see the best view here. But the L is usually uh, a lot smaller than the O. And then the uh, T's are close. If you look, it's really close. It's almost touching. But again, the letters are really thin and they're crisp. So that's another way to also know. Another thing um, that, that Louis Vuitton is also really, really known for is their stitching. So their stitching is very, very clean. Not to say that you can't get a pre-loved bag that might be falling apart. I mean, that happens as well. But when you look at a bag, their stitching is super crisp. Like I just, I'm going to show you here. You can see how clean and crisp this is. The cool thing about it is the stitching is always going to match. So you're always going to have the uh the stitching match so if you look at how many stitches are here if you were to count the stitches across from here all the way across here and then you do it on the other side it should match because they like everything's pretty symmetrical when it comes to the stitching so that's one of the things that i picked up on just learning and doing research is if you have a bag take a look at your stitching your stitching should match up and the same thing with some of the stuff in the front right if you see something that has stitching Maybe it's the stitching here, right? Maybe it's the stitching that comes from up here, right on this little handle thing. But these these stitch, stitches should match the ones that are on the other side as well. So just a heads up, I mean, those are little things that you can look at. Uh, the other thing, uh, of course, is the date stamp, which I will show you that. So now if you look at the date stamp, let's see if I can get that because it's a little bit. These date stamps are always so hard to find. They're hard to find, but they're hard to like pull out sometimes. Luckily this one I'm able to pull out. So I'm gonna see if I can get this cool. I'm not sure that that's working well for me, but let's see. You can probably see it there. So you can look at the date stamp. And usually the, uh, the four, uh, the letters represent the country and the four numbers is really when it was made. So the first and the third are, is the week of the year, the week and the year, sorry. And the second and fourth is the year it was made. So that's one way to know is by looking at those stamps, you know, like this one here says, it says, 
Gosh, I need my glasses. Am I like, I'm so old right now. Sorry. Hang on, let me put my glasses on. I always have them really handy just in case I need them. But this one says OR and it says 010150. That's what it says. So now the OR is where it was made. And now the 0158. So the 18 is, uh, and it was made in 2018. And then the 05 is the month. So it was made in May of 2018. So just as a heads up, I mean, some of you may know some of this information, but it's good information to know. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, uh, I think I covered most of the things that I think you guys should be looking for, but you know, I know some people will also look at, you know, like the dust bags that the bag comes, comes in, but you know, nowadays not everybody will sell you or give you a dust bag. So I will show you some of the dust bags in case you are buying a bag and they tell you, Hey, it comes with the it's original dust bag, what the dust bag should look like. I mean, there are some different versions. Some of the, the dust bag may be a different like color, more yellow, but you can see the dust bag here. It's really soft tan color. It has Louis Vuitton in the middle, uh, or you might have the Louis Vuitton logo in the middle, but this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, there are so many different versions to these dust bags. I'm sure you guys have seen them as well, but I mean, it's just all going to depend on how old the dust bag is. I mean, I have one that's, you know, very similar to this one, but it's really old and it looks more like a little bit more orangey, but you can tell that it's still the good quality of Louis Vuitton. You know, I did want to mention that, you know, one other thing that I forgot to mention was the lock and key. I'm not sure how many of you have these locks and keys, but what's really, really cool about the lock and key is that I didn't really realize that these Louis Vuitton locks, I'll show you the back of it. So this is the, the one side of it has the Louis Vuitton, then it has the logo. I mean, it comes with these keys, right? The one thing that I didn't really realize is that these keys, according to my notes here, I found that they actually are like, you can't actually pick them. They're unpickable, which I didn't even know that. That's one of the things that I learned that since 1896, they made these locks, which are also patent, where you can actually, you can't pick these locks, which of course, when I initially, you know, got a lock with one of my bags, I thought, oh, you can easily, you know, pick this, right? But no, apparently you can't. It has a, pot, a patent in some kind of multi-system lock thing where you cannot. So I think that's kind of cool. I learned a little bit of the history, at, you know, started a long time ago when people used to travel and they wanted to make sure their items were secure. And Louis Vuitton came up with this really cool lock to make sure that things didn't get, you know, lost and that nobody was able to get into their items. So I thought it was kind of cool. A little history education there for you. But um, yeah, I think that's really all I have when it comes to this. But you know, one thing that I do want to mention, by no means am I an expert. I will say, you know, I hear that people are getting more and more creative when it comes to selling bags that, I mean, I knew someone who bought a bag. They thought it was authentic. They didn't buy it um, insured or anything like that, but they just trusted someone on Facebook and they got scammed. The bag was not real. They thought it was real and they were wearing it for months until someone said something. And sure enough, I mean, these kind of things do happen. So I always tell people, you know, if you find a bag and someone sends you pictures, you know, send the bag to someone who could authenticate it for you. I will say one company that I use a lot is Pro Authenticators. I do think that they're a really reputable company and I've used them before and I've never had any issues. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. And I'd love to hear some feedback. If you're someone who maybe you're an authenticator or someone who's an expert in this, by no means am I the expert. I'd love to learn from anyone and I love the collaboration from all of you. But again, thank you so much and I will see you next time.